Welcome back, everyone. So, a pretty sad tale. Um, uh, it is a shocking case, but I have to be honest, it's not the first time I've read about a case like this. Um, not just in Korea, but in my home country, mm -hmm. in America too. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It is a sadly typical stalking case. Mm -hmm. um, to review the, the facts, um, a woman was being stalked by a former co-worker. Um, she had tried to sue him. She had tried to set up a restraining order. Uh, but he had repeatedly violated these. Mm. He became even more obsessed. Uh, the police um, acquitted him on one of the early uh, charges. Uh, so basically they allowed him to continue this behavior. Mm. And uh, eventually, after years of stress and suffering and panic and worry, uh, this man cornered her in a bathroom at Shindang Station and stabbed her to death. Uh, the one encouraging fact of this case is that there were people uh, who heard her screams. They came to her aid. Unfortunately, it was too late, but they managed to keep hold of the criminal himself. Mm -hmm. So they were brave enough to hold him down uh, until the police arrived um, and, uh, and he got arrested. And hopefully this time he will be charged and punished for his behavior. Yeah. Uh, but of course, that is of little comfort mm. to the victim or her family. Yeah. I mean, the article said the writing was on the wall mm -hmm. uh, for most of it, and it could have been prevented in a few different ways. What was interesting, it was a day before the trial. And so I feel like uh, when you do have a trial that involves a potentially violent, obviously in the past, potentially violent individual stalking case, maybe you can do a little bit better with um, controlling their movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the, what do they call those little f ankle bracelets mm. that you put around and say, well, you're going to be confined to the home until you go to trial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We call them electronic tags. Oh, mm -hmm. that's like the what you put on like whales and stuff. Like, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. But, but not stapled on, just uh, affixed. I wouldn't industry. complain, though. <laughs> For some people, I would not complain if it was stapled on. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, true. And of course, we don't have a fin to put it on, but um, we have a hand You're right there. In your guys' opinion, what are some ways that stocking can be uh, eliminated or stopped or, or reduced a little bit? You know, what's the best way to get rid of a stalker? And, you know, for the victim, is it always going to get worse? Yeah, the, the article had quite a hopeless uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, tone, mm -hmm. uh, su suggesting that there was nothing that could be done, that this, this kind of thing was almost inevitable. Uh, but uh, I dislike that attitude. Mm -hmm. I think that's very defeatist. Um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, always try to do better. Uh, the yeah. police can always uh, come up with new ideas. So, uh, yeah. so I like your electronic tagging idea. <laughs> but also, uh, I was thinking about um, just... Uh, having uh, higher standards uh, mm. for initial mm. reporting. Mm -hmm. So when someone mm -hmm. initially reports stalking, mm -hmm. uh, could it be investigated more seriously at the beginning? Yeah. Uh, rather than sort of waiting to see mm -hmm. if it gets reported again, or mm -hmm. um, uh, often it yeah. seems to get not taken seriously enough early enough. Mm -hmm. So could they change their protocol? Yeah. And when there is a restraining order and it's violated, having a bit more serious and quick response to that mm -hmm. would be great. Because right now, I mean, we were talking about this a little bit before uh, filming, but right now the victim has to basically uh, take all the damage from the stalking incident. They're the ones that have to move. They're the ones that have to file these reports. They're the ones that have to feel unsafe. The stalker themselves really there's nothing that happens to them. There's nothing that they have to do that's difficult. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's difficult maybe for them is finding out where they move to, mm -hmm. which is unfortunately not that difficult mm -hmm. these days either. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's um, obsession is very scary. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, uh, I feel very sorry for any victim of, of stalking because it's, you're helpless mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. But like you said, police could do a better job. And I think uh, it's getting there. It's just way slower than it really should be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, perhaps having uh, 
better resources mm. available mm -hmm. for mental health as well. Uh, I think people yeah. who become mm -hmm. this obsessed, mm -hmm. you know, that they will pursue, harass, mm -hmm. and hound someone mm -hmm. to this extent, there, mm -hmm. there must be trouble. Uh, at mm -hmm. home, trouble in the childhood, trouble mm -hmm. in the mind. Mm -hmm. um, uh, could they have mm -hmm. better care mm -hmm. and advice for pre stopping their own yeah. obsession? And shoot, that could be a really good way to enforce this is, you know, require psychiatric, psychiatric care mm -hmm. if they have a violation of something or are accused of stalking, etc. Mm -hmm. um, do you ever pass by, you know, places that have had serious crimes? Serious crimes. I've been to Sode Moon Prison. Oh. That's a, a not many a crimes. Spooky but place. I, lots well, of I suppose technically um, <sighs> it was all mm. legal back then. But mm. uh, looking back, you know, there were terrible human yeah, rights yeah, abuses yeah, yeah. within yeah. that prison, mm. and people were tortured illegally. And um, yeah, it is a weird feeling to be mm. in a place mm. where you know somebody suffered pain. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. I imagine maybe people might feel that feeling as they go to the if they go to Ooh. the toilet at Shindan Station. Oh. You know, someone suffered here. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit creepy. I, I pass by Kangnam, of course, because that's where I work. And there oh, is yes. also a murder in a bathroom there, so. Mm. But that happened many years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I believe that the perpetrator was either killed themselves or somehow died quite quickly after that. Mm. I see. Yeah, wow. Well, what a what a upbeat article for us to go through. Yes. But these things are important to talk about mm -hmm. and make change for. Let's try to stay positive as we uh, hit the vocabulary list, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Hit home. Hit home. Obsessed. Obsessed. Sue. Sue. Acquit. Acquit. Count on something. Count on something.